What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to Storytime with your favorite Reddit fairy. My name is Lorna, and today we're getting into some r slash Amazon reviews. Make sure you stick around till the end for some bonus content. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. So this first one I wasn't able to find on Reddit, but in one of my previous videos, um, I would read a story about gummy bears and I asked if you guys wanted me to read the Amazon gummy bear reviews because they're pretty, they're pretty intense and it looks like you guys want to hear it. So that's what we're going to get into now. So this one, <laughs> this is for, let me read what they're called. So it's Haribo sugar free classic gummy bears. Derek says, he gives it a five-star review, and the title is The Horror at 30,000 Feet. My flight was leaving at 8 in the morning. After awakening and trying to get to the airport, I forgot to grab something to eat. I usually take my time and do things in order, but not this day. I was traveling from Boston to L.A. coming home from a work trip. I do it regularly, so nothing was new to me. I stayed in the same hotel and knew the time I needed to leave to get to the airport on time. During my work trip, I stopped at the convenience store and saw these gummy bears and thought they would be a perfect gift for my son Charlie. He loves gummy bears and gummy worms. So the morning I was to head back to LA, I slept through my alarm. That never happens. I rushed to get out of the hotel and threw those gummy bears in my carry-on bag to make it on time to the airport. After speeding and filling up the gas in the rental, I made it to my gate as they were boarding. I get on the plane and head down the aisle to find my window seat near the middle of the plane. I asked politely for the two adorable older ladies sitting in the middle and aisle seats if I could pass by to my seat. They obliged. The lady in the middle must have been around 80 years old, so it took her some time to get up and make sure she was holding onto something so she didn't fall as she stepped into the aisle. I thanked them as I sat and settled into my seat. Fast forward 20 minutes as we reach our cruising altitude of around 30,000 feet in the air. As I reach into my carry-on bag to grab my headphones, I see the gummy bears. Since I am hungry and need something, I decided to open them up and just have a few to hold me over until we land. I wanted to save some for my son, so I maybe had four or five. But I had four or five too many because once the bears had a few minutes to adjust to their new home, they began to work. It started out with a little cramp, which is normal with gassing on a plane. You do not want to fart on a plane, so you hold it in. It is airplane etiquette. It would come and go over a few minutes, so I thought nothing of it. Then it got worse. The cramps intensified. The sweating started, and I began to notice the older ladies looking over at me. About 30 minutes into eating these bears, my thinking went from, Oh, these are just farts, I can hold them, to, Oh dear God, not here. I have been a Christian my whole life, and this is the test. If there is a God, please help me leave this plane with my dignity intact. After waiting for the intense cramp wave to pass, I stood up and jumped over those two women. I could not wait for them to stand, so I stood up, my back facing them, and tried to shimmy past them. I think a toot came out, because I heard one say, Oh Lord, was that you? After reaching the aisle, I waddled to the back of the plane, where the least amount of risk would be. To my dismay, it was in use. That left one bathroom left in the front. I looked down the aisle and saw my Mount Everest. I had to somehow keep my wet cheeks tighter than Fort Knox whilst waddling forward, whilst praying no one gets out of their seats. After five minutes of stop and go, I made it to the bathroom and was pulling my pants down as I entered the bathroom. The door was still unlocked as the sweet release was underway. I thought I died. I thought this was it. Even though I was on the throne confessing my sins, I thought my time was called. I lost count on how many knocks at the door there was. I must have been in there for 45 minutes, but I made it. I washed my hands and threw water in my face to calm me down. Opening the door, I saw the faces looking back at me. Apparently, the seal to the bathroom was not airtight, letting just the slightest airflow from that bathroom to the main cabin possible. Children looking at me. 
I could feel their questions and comments. What have you done? We still have two hours left. Please divert this plane. As I began walking down, the man in the first row of first class grabbed my arm. He said, Hey man, where is your seat? Confused, I told him and he said, Go get your stuff and come back and sit here. You need this more than me. I was embarrassed and ashamed. I had a family at home waiting for me. I recommend these gummy bears to anyone, but please eat them responsibly. <laughs> if four gummy bears can do that. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've read this one before, so I didn't nearly, I didn't crack and start laughing like I thought I did. I was going to, but <laughs> can you imagine being on that plane and having to go through that? Oh my God. Here's another one from Nicole P, and it's titled, One of the Worst Days of My Life. I ate half of a six-ounce bag I picked up at CVS. They changed the color of the bag. I didn't know. I spent 24 hours in the fetal position on my bathroom floor repeating, Please, God, why? <laughs> I still don't have an answer. <laughs> Oh, I know that pain, my dude. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read one more from this, this product. So this one's from Justine D. It worked like a charm. Bought these after reading the reviews and decided to prank my cousin. It worked like a charm. After eating handfuls, he was on the toilet for days he continued to eat them, not knowing that they were the cause of his explosive diarrhea. Only when he finished the bag did I decide to reveal my secret. <laughs> I need to see the comments to see if they answered if... <laughs> Hi, my name is Illegible, and I'm starting a GoFundMe campaign to buy an atomic bomb to drop on my cousin Justine. I'm going to show him something a lot funnier than explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Somebody else say you're a rotten person. Is this what the report abuse button is for? Did you buy them from Amazon? They must keep selling out as soon as they're back in stock because they never seem to have them when I occasionally check again. Okay, my question is, why do you keep checking for them? <laughs> why? <laughs> These are either some serious socio or psychopaths or just masochists. I don't know. <laughs> Thieving racist teeth, posted by user the hyphen blizzle. It works. My teeth are so white, they've started taking other people's land. Oh my god. That's messed up. <laughs> okay, this next one I did not find on Reddit, but it was posted in one of my crafting groups on Facebook. And it's about the Cricut Explore Air 2. It's a cutting machine, and I actually own this thing, and I love it, and I, I use it for a lot of things. It's amazing. So E. Adgate gives it five stars and says, If it vibrated, I would be divorced. My wife loves this thing. For that reason, so did I. Seeing the pure joy in her eyes was rivaled only by things like our wedding day and our children's births. As time has gone by, though, I'm beginning to suspect that she loves it more than she loves me. She spends all her time with it, and when she's not using it, she's talking about it. She's taken to snuggling it in bed, and when I come home from work the other day, it was sitting in my chair at the dinner table. My children call it Daddy. I was getting tired of it and tried to confront it, but my dog started snarling at me. It's too late for me, but you've been warned. This machine is a home wrecker. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's <laughs> I know he's jo it's I know it's not real. This woman is not <laughs> but that's that's like just an extreme end of the spectrum of how awesome this fucking machine is cuz it is really awesome. And I am not affiliated in any way. I am not trying to sell the cricket to anyone just simply stating the facts of my opinion <laughs> that is all <laughs> 
Okay. Posted by user Andreas HGK. One star. Very big. Hi. I buy TV. It big. Very big. It take lot room. I no have no room on wall. <laughs> they give him one star. Just because the TV is too big. <laughs> Which is stupid. That should be one star on this customer because you're an idiot for not measuring your fucking wall first. <laughs> an interesting review of Boner's Penis Cleaner. Posted by user Pig1. Five star review. Much better than spit. After become frustrated with ineffective cock cleaners, imagine my joy as I happened upon this marvelous product. No longer do I have to scrub my pecker with the Brillo pad to remove the unpleasant odor and lumps that build up after several days of inactivity. A quick rub with Boner's Hygiene Wash Intimate Gel Penis Cleaner for men, and the old fella comes up smelling of roses. Literally, as I bought the roses flavored item. <laughs> um, I think he means scented item. Because why would your shampoo or your body wash be edible? That I wouldn't think it would be very much of a cleaner if it was. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and the other thing is why do you have lumps on your pecker? <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep moving on. Review of a $500 candle. Posted by user The Sacred Earth. Kelly says five stars, top quality. Does what it says it will. I lit it and left it while I went to work, and it burned my house down. Everything smells like fire now. Very authentic scorched timber smell throughout the rubble pile. Ten out of ten would purchase again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's just bad. <laughs> oh no. Sweet Jesus! Posted by user Trip and Flip. This review is from Sushi Quick Sushi Making Kit Fun Easy Kitchen. Yup, it's sushi and quick. Sweet Jesus! I never thought sushi could be so fast, but hot damn, I was wrong. As soon as I opened the package, I was inundated with a plethora of steaming cold sushi. So much, in fact, that I had to flee my home because of the mounds of sushi produced by this contraption. My whole town reeks and my neighbors all hate me. <laughs> oh, I want that. I don't know how to make sushi, and I really want to. I fucking love sushi. A review for a rotary evaporator. Posted by user, yeah, probably drunk. Five out of five stars from Chaz. Best crystal meth ever. Didn't really know what I was buying going into it, but after a late night of binge drinking and tacos, I woke up to this at my front door. I started playing with the settings and realized I could now make some serious crystal. Huge shout out to the motorized lift which makes the rotary evaporator that much more useful. 10 out of 10 would accidentally buy again. <laughs> Shit. I wonder if this is I wonder if that's real. Like wouldn't the FBI be like banging down that guy's door? Do not do meth people. <laughs> Don't. Just walk away. That's messed up right there. This review of Verb Shampoo. Posted by user K underscore McDubs. Five stars. Love is a verb here in my room. As a guy, I have historically not given much consideration to my shampoo. But this stuff is the bee's knees. My hair is all kinds of soft all of a sudden. We'll report back on the smell after I convince a girl to smell my hair. Seems promising, though. The smell, not the girl. Update. 11-14-2014. Got a girl to smell my hair. Feedback was positive. Also, got her number. I'm convinced these are related. Update. 05-06-2016. This stuff should come with some kind of warning. Things have escalated with the girl. 
and we are now moving in together in two months. Am I really ready for domestication? Does anyone ever really know? Update 05-10-2018. She said yes. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, can you imagine if this whole thing, this whole marriage happened because he bought this shampoo and was so impressed with how it made his hair smell that he got the balls to ask a girl to smell his hair and they fell in love and they're married because of this verb shampoo oh my god that guys that's fucking beautiful <laughs> who knows if it's true but that is fucking awesome considering he's updated it so many times <laughs> a one a friend like that Cross-posted by user C4JINA. So, it's for a spider. Like a toy spider, you guys can see here. <laughs> Five stars. A good friend. My child doesn't have friends, so I bought him this spider. He really likes it. It's large and fuzzy, just as advertised. He uses it to scare his mother by hiding it in her bed or sneaking up behind her and brushing her with its fuzzy legs. The only drawback is the construction is not super robust. So if it breaks, then my kid will be friendless again. Oh, God. Just buy him another one. Oh, that's so sad. Take your kid to the park, Dad. Shit, help him make some friends. Oh. Cherub's Buttocks. Posted by user Intrepid Iliad. Let me explain something to you about bamboo fabric. My wife is insane about bamboo. When we had our kids, she got bamboo onesies and little blankets. As soon as I felt them, I realized the hype. Bamboo feels like butter dripping over a cherub's buttocks. Bamboo feels like french fries taste out of the fryer. Bamboo feels like rayon, jersey, microfiber, and silk had a child, and it was perfect. Buy the sheets. Trust me. Was I paid for this review? No. I'm a 30-year-old man laying in my bed, writing this from the everlasting comfort of these sheets. When I wait to enter the gates of heaven, I'm bringing my sheets, because I'll need a backup if their sheets aren't as this bourgeois. Or bougie. <laughs> Sorry. Pros. Heavenly butter sheets, cool to the touch but keep you even temp-wise. Hotel-style pocket pillowcases, butter soft, feel like a regal king. Half the time I wonder where the hanging grapes are above my head as I lay in these sheets. Cons? None. Good day, sir. <laughs> I can attest to that. Bamboo cotton is ooh, ooh, it's amazing. I love, I just had a conversation with my aunt about bamboo cotton yarn the other day. And oh my God, it's just so, it's butter. That's exactly what it feels like. It's like butter soft. I love bamboo yarn, like bamboo cotton blends. Uh, and they're so much better than all the like massively produced acrylic yarns that are just basically just plastic that look like wool. You know what I'm saying? So much better for the environment as well. Um, I will, I, I willy wish, I willy wish, I wish I could find a, a hemp yarn that is as buttery smooth as cotton bamboo blends. <laughs> oh my god. Just do it, my dudes. Do it. <laughs> All right. And the last one of the day is called A Review on a Robe, posted by user fragile underscore entity. Five stars by Lauren Ann. Like, really good steak. Boyfriend, six foot, 225 and thick. Like, really good steak. Like, oh my god, his wrists are as big as my bicep. You should see his wrists. Like a really healthy Kobe beef kind of steak that you just want to massage before you slaughter it so it's relaxed when it dies and tastes that much better. Anyway, it fits him well and goes just below his knees. Did I mention his knees yet? Oh my god. <laughs> this woman really loves the way her man looks in that robe. <laughs> 
<laughs> but holy shit, that got intense with the uh, <laughs> visual description of slaughtering it. Oh my, massaging. Oh my god, poor, poor little cow. Oh no. <laughs> All right, my dudes, I promised you some bonus content, so I'm going to start it off with my most favorite YouTube comment I've ever seen <laughs> by Miss Corinne Shipway. She said on episode 27 of r slash choosing beggars, I'm back. Did you miss me? Also, please never knit me anything with your butt yarn. <laughs> Now, if you didn't watch the video and you saw that comment, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I replied, I did. And I did miss you, man. I was like, where's Corinne? I haven't heard from her in a while. But uh, I said, I did. But what if it smells like flowers? And she replied, that's still a no from me, dog. But I'll buy you store yarn and you can knit me anything you want. <laughs> That was like the greatest comment I've ever seen. And I love that you just played along with it. That you guys are awesome. I love my subscribers so much. <laughs> and then going on the same subject, Pascal or Percy commented, Yarn out of your butt? Are you a fairy spider or a spider fairy or something like that? <laughs> and I'm just sitting here thinking, whoa. I'm like picturing it in my head. Like, oh my God, the mental image. <laughs> He's like, you started it, would be quick knitting with eight hands. And then, of course, I had to, re now I had to tell him that I'm fantasizing about being a spider fairy because, oh my god, can you imagine how many projects I would get done, like, and how fast? <laughs> I'd get so much done, like, it would just be insane. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure at the same time, if I was a, a spider fairy that had eight arms and could knit like, you know, four projects at a time, I, I'd be totally YouTube famous, man. I'd be putting that shit online in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> I'd make so much money. I'd be so famous. <laughs> All right, my dudes, I'm going to finish this off with a couple of pictures of some things I finished for the holidays. So... I made my two nieces their own blankets, their own afghans. I made a stocking uh, to put in a, a kind of like a secret Santa gift exchange thing, but it's for no one in particular. You kind of like, you know, when it's your turn to open, you can steal someone else's gift or take a new one kind of thing. That kind of game. And then I've also made a couple of headbands. I'm currently working on a sweater. For my niece. We'll see how that turns out. Or if I can get it finished before Christmas. <laughs> my dudes, if you have handmade a gift, I want to see it. Spam me that shit. I don't care if it's from years ago. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to do like maybe closer to Christmas. Um, all these pictures that you guys send me. I just want to... Um, I'm maybe going to do a Choosing Beggars video about handmade gifts, perhaps. And then I want to compile pictures of people with their actual handmade gifts that they've made. Like pictures of that in the video as well. So send those my way. I'm going to compile those. And yeah, I hope you like this episode. I'm probably not going to do too much of the story, the, the um, image-based subreddits that much. But if you liked it, let me know. Maybe I will do some more, but... I don't know. It's I'm I'm scared of how much editing it's going to require. <laughs> and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and smash that little bell icon to be notified of future videos just like this one so you never miss them. And as always, the links to these stories will be in the description, so head on over to Reddit, my dudes, and show those posters some love with some upvotes. You know they deserve it. And my socials, everything, every which way I have available to get a hold of me is also in the description. So if you want to send anything to me, any pictures, any memes, any stories, anything, just don't send nudes. <laughs> you can send them to any any of those in the description there. And I will happily look at, read them, look at them, whatever. So until next time. Ubbity, ubbity, ubbity. That's all, folks.